Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Die With A Smile. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. So we're in standard tuning for this and the start of the song has two chords. We have what we call an A major 7, which has an open A string, two on the D string, one on the G, two on the B and an open E string. That's the first chord. The other chord for the introduction is what we call a D major 7, which if you're familiar with the A major shape, what we do is play two on the bottom string, two on the B, two on the G, and an open um, D string on that. So you can see it's just an A major shape put down. And those two chords, A major seven and D major seven, are gonna get you through the introduction. In terms of strumming, we have this. So it's very repetitive throughout most of the song which is slowly down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That many times, so it's kind of four times around that strumming pattern for each chord. So if you play those chords through once each, you get the introduction. However, looking over to my note, we play the exact same thing twice round for the verse. So when Bruno Mars starts singing A major 7 to D major 7, A major 7 to D major 7, and you've got yourself the verse, no difference really. We then get to a pre-chorus, and the pre-chorus starts off with the D major 7, and we're kind of just swapping chords around for the most part. Now it's worth mentioning, we're gonna get loads of new chords in a moment. It's a fantastic song full of really interesting shapes. However, if you are interested in getting the full chord chart for this, as well as the chords and the lyrics matched up, then head on over to Patreon. There is a link to that in the description. You get everything right out professionally and it saves you from trying to memorize it or find a version online that you're not too sure if it's correct because a lot of them aren't. Uh, so yeah, feel free to check that out. So that pre-chorus starts off with the D major seven. We play two lots of it. We then go to the A major 7, so up to now it's just backwards of the verse, but then we go to this chord here, which is a C sharp minus 7 chord. It is a bar chord, and we're going to start on fret 4 of the A string, to 6 on the D string, 4 on the G, 5 on the B, and 4 on the high E string. We play that twice round. Before going to one more new chord of the pre-chorus, which is an F minor chord. F sharp minor chord, should I say. And we're going to stab that chord. And all I mean by stab, it's musical shorthand for striking the chord and stopping the sound straight away. Like that. To build the chord, we need another bar chord from two on the top string, four, four on the A and D string, and then your barred finger will take up the remaining strings. We then get to the chorus, which starts off with a B minor chord, which is two on the A string, four, four on the D and G strings, three on the B, and then a two on the high E string. Before going to E major, another new chord, so it might be worth checking out that link uh, over on Patreon, because yeah, there's a ton more chords and there's more coming up. E major, however, open E string, two, two on the A and D strings, one on the G, and then open strings on the B and E. So we go from B minor to E. We then go to that C sharp minor seven, to the F sharp minor. So those four chords, B minor to E, C sharp minor seven to the F sharp minor, play those chords around twice for the first half of the chorus. The second half of the chorus is almost the same. We have B minor, E, A major, E major, F sharp minor, C sharp minor. And you can hear on that one, I was playing the chords a lot shorter from the A to the E to the F sharp to the C sharp. Now, one small caveat, the E major chord that you play in that last part I literally just mentioned, technically it's an E slash G sharp. Now that, even for me, is very hard to play. Usually the bass player will play that G sharp. Basically, if you play E major, you're absolutely fine. The last part of the chorus goes from B minor. And hit that E major chord, you can make it a stab. 
and then you've got yourself to the end of the chorus. Okay, so at this point we have a post chorus of sorts, and the post chorus is basically just an A major 7, twice round, to the D major 7, twice round. And at that point, looking over to my notes, we have tons of repetition. We have a second verse, exactly the same as what you did in the first verse. A second pre-chorus and a second chorus, all the same. So basically, what you did at the start of the song, do it all again. However, we do have a bridge section. Now the bridge section is a little bit like the chorus, but what we do is play B minor, E major, C sharp minor seven, F sharp minor. Play that set of chords around four times for that bridge section. We then have the last part of the song, which has a couple of minor additions to it. So yeah, there is absolutely tons of stuff going on in this song. Uh, I love it though, I think it's brilliant. So the chorus starts off in the same way. So basically play what you did for the previous choruses again. But at the end of this chorus, what we have is B minor. Going to a C sharp dominant seventh chord. Yeah, I think that's a chord made me fall in love with this song. It's absolutely brilliant uh, chord position and like that. And a C sharp minor, sorry, a C sharp dominant seven is four on the A string, six on the D, four on the G, six on the B, and a four on the high E string. Yeah, that was a bit of a mouthful, wasn't it? So you play a C sharp dominant seven, going to F sharp minor, and then the final new chord, B major. Not to be confused with B minor, but B major. Which is two on the A string, four, four, four on the D, G, and B. And then optionally, you can play that fret number two with the bad finger. And at that point, we have an outro to the song. And the outro is just the same as the introduction where you play the A major seven going to the D major 7 and the only difference is go back to A major 7 and give it a nice gentle strum to end the song. Well there we go that is one hell of a song I absolutely adore this one I think it's a brilliant one uh, never been a massive fan of Bruno Mars or Lady Gaga but I think this song together is genuinely amazing. So um, I hope you found this video useful. I'd just like to say thanks to the people on the screen. Those are my active patrons. The moment this video goes live, they will get access to that content that I mentioned earlier straight away. So head on over if you want all of that gear. So thanks for the, the support and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.